In my uh, last job at Interlabs, I built a small team that was focused on understanding the space of intelligent capabilities. So rather than using an existing benchmark like Superglue that is then solved by a language model en passant, despite the language model not even designed for solving it, we thought uh, maybe we can come from the other direction. And so we think about what capabilities exist at all and try to come up with the capability space. The model that we came up was something that we informally called the big nine. And they go from narrow on the inside to more and more universal on the outside. And once we understand such a space um, of capabilities like language acquisition and deep collaboration and autonomous behavior and the ability to control a body, uh, to perceive your environment, to reason, to learn, to represent. Um, all these abilities uh, can be mapped onto existing systems and we can see which regions they occupy. And when we look from this perspective, we see that all the existing models that we have in AI are very, very limited. And artificial general intelligence would be a system that reaches beyond or at least to human level in all the relevant capability dimensions. And it's something that clearly we don't have yet. So what's the most important unsolved question in AI? Arguably, it's always been the question, what is intelligence? And Minsky said that AI is the science of making machines that do things that would require intelligence if done by man. And for Alan Ewell, a psychologist who built AI models, it was intelligence is the ability to solve problems. You could also say um, that intelligence is the ability to approximate functions, usually in the service of control, right? It's the ability to make models, to produce behavior. But now we know this is all futile. There is a much more elegant answer. Intelligence is the ability to predict the next token. <laughs> it's surprising. Uh, it's not completely surprising. There's this idea of cognition as data compression is very old. And we have uh, Fristin's idea of free energy maximization, which uh, translates into predictive coding or minimizing surprise. And it's very closely related to this. The ability to make predictions um, requires that we form models of what we predict. So we can only need to encode the difference. And uh, if you make more and more complicated models, you get closer and closer to cognition. So it's not completely surprising that this works. But I think that building a very big autocompleter uh, leads to a system that is able to write programs and translate between programming languages and uh, summarize uh, texts and so on. That was surprising for a lot of people. And in, in my own timeline and on Twitter, uh, I have an audience that is quite open to uh, progress in AI. And I asked people, are you surprised by the foundation models, by GPT-3, DALI, and so on? And uh, the vast majority of the people were surprised, which means that this technology had been severely underhyped.